So I've posted a few Smart Summon videos so far, and in those videos, I've gotten a lot of questions about insurance. Um, some people just being angry and saying, uh, good luck with that, because if your car hits somebody or something, your insurance isn't gonna cover it. In my opinion, I'm still operating the vehicle. I'm holding the button, so it's the same as if I'm driving it. But I figure, let's just call my insurance and ask. We can find out together. I haven't done this yet. I don't know what they're gonna say. So I'm gonna call them up uh, and let's see what they say. I would assume they'll never have even heard of this, um, but we'll find out. And of course this will be different for everybody's insurance, but I figure it at least gives us kind of a starting line um, where maybe the different insurance companies will agree. Hello, thank you for calling. Your call may be recorded or monitored. You can speak to me in complete sentences. A question about my coverage. Which one are you calling about? The Tesla. Please tell me the policy you're calling about. I don't know. Hey, I speak Hi, uh, this is Chris. How are you doing today? Pretty good, how about you? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for asking. And how can I help you out today? So I had a question about uh, the Tesla on my policy. Um, do you see it there? That's the 2018, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the 2018. So uh, my car recently acquired the ability, uh, it gets software updates, to drive itself in parking lots. I don't know if you've heard of this. It's called Smart Summon. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, I've seen it before. So... If since I'm not in the car and the car is driving itself in a parking lot, um, if it like hits another car, uh, what's the procedure there? Am I covered still? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Because you're not technically driving it, so it's not your fault, but I don't know. That's a good question. Let me, let me ask. Uh, let me reach out and ask. Okay. Give me yeah. one second. Just, just so you know, I think this will help. Um, I am controlling the car at the time because I'm, there's an application on my phone and I have to be holding the button or the car won't move. So I am responsible, technically, I'm watching the car and if I see it like oh. it's gonna hit something, I can let go of that button. Um, but I'm, I'm still not driving it, so it's just kind of a strange question, right? That is cool. I've, I've never seen it in action before, oh. but I've, I've, I've heard of it. You should look up, go to YouTube and type Dirty Tesla this guy's got some really good videos about Smart Summon. Dirty, dirty Tesla? Oh yeah, and you can see him driving this thing <laughs> in the parking lot, nobody's in the car, and it's driving around, it's crazy. Wow, hold on one sec. Dirty Tesla, okay, I'm oh, checking it out in a second. You're doing that live right now? <laughs> Uh, I'm just I'm just writing it down. Oh, just cool. So I can go, go back and look at it. Cool, cool. Um, so now, did, did that situation happen? Because um, no. I'll have to get you over to a, to a claims <laughs> rep. No, <laughs> thankfully that did not happen. Um, it's more of just a curiosity. Okay. All right. Give me one second. Let me reach out. All right. Thank you. Okay. He can probably hear me because normally on hold they can hear you, but. So far, this is pretty hilarious. <laughs> he's heard of it, but he doesn't know, so he's got to ask somebody else, so we'll see. Okay, thank you for holding. Yeah, so no problem. You would still be covered. It would be covered under your collision cover. Oh, it is. Okay, perfect. Because if not, I was just not going to use it. <laughs> of course, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah so you're, you're, all, you're all covered. Okay, so there's no. it's the exact same as if I was driving the car. Exactly exact same it, it, it'll be an half fault accident for you okay perfect well thank you so much i mean even so one more question so even if like you know if somebody's backing out of a parking spot um they're they're at fault right well yeah so uh, if, well it it, it it all depends on how, how the situation happens i i really can't speculate okay okay because i'm not in, I'm, I'm i'm not in claims okay um yeah, it really depends on the situation. Okay, all right. Could, could I talk to somebody in claims or? Yeah, yeah, give me one second. All right, thank you so much. Hello, thank you so much for calling. Are you calling to file a new claim? Hi, no, I'm not. I just had a few questions um, and they sent me to you to get them answered because they were a little specific. Okay, are your questions regarding a potential claim or an existing one? No. I mean, okay, um, I, no, nothing, nothing has <laughs> what happened. What are your questions? Okay, nothing has happened. So uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Tesla vehicles. 
Um, but they get software updates and they gain new abilities over time. Um, so my car now mm -hmm. has the ability in parking lots to drive itself, uh, meaning I'm not in the car. Uh, I am controlling the car mm -hmm. via an application on my phone. Um, and my question was, am I covered if the car while driving itself, you know, is in an accident if it bumps into another car or something? Um, so that was- While you're not physically in it? Exactly, right. Wow, that's kind of like, you know, those remote control cars that <laughs> kids have back in the day, but yes. now it's modern technology. That's crazy. It's exactly, yeah, I can <laughs> um, just walk through the parking lot and it'll follow me. It's it's the craziest thing. Yes. Um, so that's a great question. That would take some digging into our policy contract to evaluate for you um, because you're not physically in it and it's not a parked vehicle on your side. Right. Um, let me see if I can get you over to our policy services department. Okay. Because they'd be able to take a look at the policy contract and see if there's any exclusions to um, coverage, things like that. Okay. Okay, sure. Yeah, I mean, the last person told me that it was covered, but then I had some other questions and he wasn't sure. So, but if, yeah, if you need to send me somewhere else, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. So in regards to like hypothetical claims questions or what if situations, mm -hmm. claims can't technically answer them yet oh. unless a claim has been reported because a claim suggester would look at your coverages and determine how they could be assessed for liability sure. or fault. Okay. Um, but outside of that, our services department is well trained to evaluate what the terminology of the policy contract and see what's covered, what's not, how that would apply in a given scenario for you. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. And how can I help today? Hi. I just had a theoretical claims question for you. Um, and they told me this okay. was the best place to get that answered. Um, so I don't know if you're familiar with Tesla vehicles, um, but they get software updates um, and over time they gain new abilities. And so my car now, starting about two weeks ago, um, has the ability to drive itself in parking lots, like while I'm not in it. Um, and so my question was, am I covered in case of an accident if I'm not in the car? And the car is driving itself? Yeah, yeah. The cars can now drive themselves up to five miles an hour in parking lots. Now, I do still control the vehicle. Um, I have an app on my phone, and I, I basically just press a button that says, come to me, and then the car mm -hmm. will drive through the parking lot and find me. Um, so Get out of here. Oh, it's, it's Are awesome. Are you kidding me? No, no. You got to go, go to YouTube and search for Dirty Tesla. It's very cool, um, and it seems to work well. But I'm, you know, if I'm not covered, then I don't think it's something I want to use, right? Right. All right. So it, let me understand. So it will pull out of a parking space. Oh yeah. And drive. Can it detect other vehicles coming? Oh yeah, it can see cars. It can see people. It'll even tell you on the app while you're holding the button. It'll tell you like if it stops. You know, it's not perfect. Sometimes it stops a little too much, but it'll say like waiting for a pedestrian if somebody walks in front of it or waiting for path to clear, you know, things like that. Okay. Wow. Um, that is not something that I can answer. Um, okay. Now, who sent you to me? Uh, I've, you're the third person I've talked to. So I, I, I called the, the generic <sighs> customer service number. He ended okay. up telling me that it is covered, um, but I had some more specific questions. So he sent me to claims. Uh, and then claim, okay. claims told me they're not uh, like, I don't know if it was allowed to, or they don't answer hypotheticals. Um, so they sent me to you. They said you would be able to answer hypothetical because nothing has happened. You know, my car is fine. I but cannot. You, you, you can't. I, I cannot answer a hypothetical question. I can't. It would all depend. There are too many circumstances, too many variables that could come into play. I can't answer yes or no that it would be covered. Wow. So I could use this so it, feature and, and my car somebody bumps into mine, not I bump into it, but another car bumps into mine and I might not be covered in that situation. You know, it, it, it could be possible because that other person could say, hey, nobody was controlling this car. I didn't see anybody in the car. There was no one around. Right. Uh, you know, someone left the car in gear, whatever. You know, they. I mean, there's so many variables and so many situations that could come up. Yeah. That um, I don't think we could answer yes or no until, heaven forbid, it actually happens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that makes me a little hesitant 
to use it because I don't want to. You wanna... know, I mean, you're, I mean, I can see where it would detect, okay, there's a, there's a, a person standing behind the car. I'm going to stop. But where is that, whatever, is, is that detection device? What, if it's a child or if it's someone in a wheelchair that's lower to the ground than, right. you know, an average size adult would be. Is it going to detect that? I, you know, I can't, too many variables. We would not be able to tell you uh, yes or no. Okay, but even, so what about just a collision with another car? You you don't know that either? No. I, I If you're not in the vehicle, if yeah. you're not in control yeah. physically of that vehicle, mm -hmm. I mean, this is a whole new thing that's coming up for insurance companies. Right, yeah. And we cannot answer yes or no until the facts, of, until the all of the information from an accident are available to us. Okay, I mean, I so just wow. one, I know one last thing. Um, I am technically I am in control of the car as as I have to hold that button. On, no, on, on. we're talking about physically. If you're not in the car, right? Can you have control of that vehicle? I can stop it if I if I let go, I can't steer it or anything, but. If I'm, I have to watch the car. You know, they tell you don't, don't do it unless you can see the car. And right. I'm holding the button on my phone. If I see any kind of strange situation where I think maybe it will collide with a person or a right. car or anything, I can let go of the button and the car will stop immediately within one second. Um, so technically, I'm operating the vehicle, and so that's why I, I figured it would be covered because yeah. usually these things are worded as operating the vehicle but obviously I'm not I, I don't know so that's why I'm calling to ask yeah I can't I can't answer that question I, I wouldn't even I, I wouldn't even try so you know to answer your question no we cannot guarantee that it would be covered that is wild okay yeah well well what 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 you're describing is wild <laughs> <laughs> it is. And, you it know, is, it it's, is. it's not the first time, you know, that we've heard it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with the Teslas and the self-driving, mm -hmm. um, you know, we have had claims with them. Yeah. I can't tell you one way or another, you know, how those claims have gone. Sure. Um, but I can tell you that we, you know, have had claims with that particular issue. Okay. Wow. That the driver is not in physical control of the vehicle. In other words, your hands on the wheel your foot on the brake or the accelerator, whatever. Okay. I mean, technically. So I, I can't tell you how that's going to go. Technically. Yeah. Technically. Yeah. Yeah. But. But when it comes down to it. Right. Wow. All right. That what is, is the other person going to say happened? If you don't, if you can't see exactly what happened. Yeah. You know? Right. From your, your different point of view. You're not in the car. Right. Yeah. Right. Very interesting. Okay, well, I think that probably answers enough for me then. Yeah. That'd make me wary. Yeah, but yeah. But boy, it sounds like a great idea. <laughs> oh, it's it's cool. I mean, I've used it a few times, especially in the rain. I can imagine. No, in the rain, it's, it's very cool, but... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, I'll just be extra careful, or maybe I'll just uh, wait until some other people make claims. <laughs> there you go, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, Wait till thank there's you. some reviews on that. Yes, all right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the help. All right. Okay, Thank bye. you. Okay, so <laughs> I did not expect that. Um, there's obviously some confusion uh, within that company. I don't know if other insurance companies would be different. I guess I could call other insurance companies and ask, like, tell them I want a policy and see what they say. But wow, I'm actually pretty surprised uh, at those responses. So the first guy just took him a minute and he goes, oh, yeah, it's covered. And then... The second person wouldn't even answer me at all, and then the third person, pretty much same thing. She just says it's not, it's not guaranteed. It would depend on that specific circumstance. Um, and I guess, you know, usually insurance companies are pretty squirrely. They want to get out of whatever they can. So I can't say I'm too surprised, but I don't know. I, I'm pretty surprised at the same time. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. I don't think this deters me. I think using it correctly the right way, where I'm watching the car, I have control via the app, um, and I stop the car if I think it's going to do something dumb or might even possibly collide with something, even though I believe it would be able to stop itself. Personally, I think I'll still be using it, but let me know your comments down below. If you have a Tesla, you're thinking of getting one. What do you think about this? Does this like totally turn you off to smart summon? Are you done? Are you not going to use it anymore? Uh, that's not the case for me, uh, but this was really interesting. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.